Maximum haircut. It's short. Maximum. Swish them, huh? <laughs> New haircut today. New haircut. It's a lot shorter. And in fact, I blame... Right, okay, so this is it. I blame... I'm going to grow the... I'm... I blame Amanda for this one, okay? Amanda Barrett, because she on Instagram created an AI picture of me. And I looked at it, I was like, I like that haircut. I'm going to get that haircut. I do have to wait. I need to grow it a little bit more. But I was like, that's AI. Hang on. Come on. And I'm like, yeah, I'm going to go for that. Right, it's getting there. Okay, so Amanda Barrett, that's what I'm trying. That's what I'm trying to achieve. Okay, when it's a little bit longer. Right. Anyway, so ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Casper's Side. How the devil are you, mate? Today we're gonna keep involved with the freaky deaky, the weird and the wonderful, but we're gonna avoid the ghosts and the spooky wookies. We're talking about the cryptids because last week I spoke about like the dog man and Bigfoot and things like that, and people really liked it. So I thought this week. Like every Wednesday, I should have done this video yesterday, by the way, but it's today. Whatever, mate, get over it, All right? So every Wednesday, we're going to be looking into the cryptids, the weird and the wonderful creatures, right? And this is a channel called Dread Captures. Make sure you go to their channel, subscribe, and do their thing. And this one's called Man Releases Clearest Footage, all right? This is all about, uh, it's got Sasquatch in here, looks like, in the description. It's got different cryptids. It's going to be cool, man. So let's have a good discussion. And find out if we get some answers about if these things are really true. Without further ado, Dad Dilly Day, let's do this. Shh. Go on, Hello Dread Captures. And welcome to this episode of Dread Captures. Yeah. The ultimate destination for those who seek the thrill of witnessing the unexplained. Our channel is dedicated to bringing you the most compelling and jaw-dropping camera footage we can find. Good. Trail camera, security cameras, and other recording devices can capture events that occur when no one is around. We have gathered trail camera footage of wild animals, cryptids, paranormal activity, mysterious creatures oh. lurking in the shadows, and strange phenomena that defy explanation. We have it all. Okay, maybe we will see some paranormal then. Our team of experts scours the internet and beyond to bring you the latest and greatest in the world of wildlife and the unknown. So whether you're a seasoned cryptozoologist, a veteran outdoorsman, or just a curious viewer, buckle up and get ready for an adventure like no other. A oh, wolfman! Oh no, dog! Take man. a look at this chilling image. While this not the, same, the is this the same thing? Wolfman, dogman, and in subject of this photograph, it steals the spotlight the moment you see it peeking out from behind the trees. The distinctive canine face and upright position give away its identity immediately. We are looking at none other than the fabled Wolfman. These creatures are rarely ever spotted in the wild. Some people in the paranormal community even theorize that there have been attempts by the government to cover up their existence. Ha, ha, where are we bloody looking at there, mate? And I'm sure, I'm, I'm, I'm assuming that this is the same thing. Dogman, Wolfman, right? If you haven't heard of the Wolfman before, it is described as a wolf-human hybrid. It has the face of a wolf and is completely covered in fur. However, it is reported that this creature can walk on both two legs and four. It is also reported to have hands. Where is it? Have you just put two white dots somewhere and expecting us to think that that's a wolf? And similar to those of a human. If you think we are talking about a werewolf, you are wrong. The wolf man does not change from human to wolf. I can sort of see the nose here, right? But that could be anything, but... Wolf <sighs> on a full moon. It is always in this form... In fact, if you saw one from a distance, you might just think you saw a very large wolf. They go to great lengths to- Where are you zooming in? Oh, oh, okay, no, so, okay. So it's here, this whole thing here. Like, this is the snout, the eyes, okay. Conceal their identities from humans. They may be even more elusive than Bigfoot. This one in the image seems to have been caught off guard as it investigates the people in the photograph. Perhaps the creature is young and just being inquisitive, or maybe hunger drove it out, 
and it was looking for an easy meal. Or we could be looking at a fake. That is a possibility too. Mm. Let me know your theories in the comments. Have you ever heard of the wolf men? No. Do you think they are real or are they a creature straight out of a myth? Well, I don't know, mate. Cat stalker? Mate. Take a look at this photograph of a calico cat. Wow, look, 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 look at that. Mate, that looks like a cat's face right there, like a, like a tiger or something. Camera used to capture the beautiful house pet was clearly not made for night photography, as there is a large reflection of the flash directly in the center of the image. Mate, look at the bags under his eyes. It's, it's like an alien. But I digress. That isn't the reason it is featured here on our channel. Take a look in the shadows directly behind the cat. In the shadows. What do you see? There is another set of eyes glowing against the darkness. While you might jump to- Mate, that's an alien. That's a bloody alien. To the conclusion that it is another cat. Take a closer look. You can see the faint outline of a face. The creature sporting those uncanny glowing eyes appears to have some resemblance to a human. But it is anything but. The mysterious cryptid's identity is unable to be confirmed, so we can only guess. Whatever it is, it appears to be fixated on the cat. That's an alien, mate. I, leave your answers below. Do you think that's an alien? There was no context given with this submission, so we can only hope the cat made it safely inside after this unnerving photo was taken. I'm sure it did, mate. What are your thoughts? What do you think the creature is? I think that's an alien of some sort. Bigfoot ape, let's go. Our next clip is a familiar face. Hey, look at it. Mate, I bet I could deadlift fucking shit tons. I don't have to tell you that this still image taken from an Oregon trail camera features a Bigfoot. The question I have for you is, are we looking at authentic photographic evidence, or mm. is it another fake making its way around the internet? Don't know. If we examine it, we can see this creature's face looks more like an ape. Hang on. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six got six fingers. Than most descriptions of Bigfoot. Most people who encounter the bipedal primate describe the face as a mixture of ape and human, with eerily human-like eyes. But since there are so few clear images of the cryptid, who can say what is accurate and what is not? And It'd be brilliant if that was real though, man, like, you know? It would be so good, you know my views on the Bigfoot. I still don't think it's real, but it'd be, it'd be amazing if it was until we have further evidence. We've discussed Bigfoot theories on this channel before. One of which is that the creature we call Bigfoot is simply a large... Un I don't know about the hands, man. I, I, I don't know. It, it seems like... Uh, it seems like it's just cut off. Like the, the hair just stops, you know? Like wh where's the hair on the top of the, the hand here or something? Uh, I don't know about that one undocumented primate living in small populations across North America. Elusive, yes, but not necessarily what we would call a cryptid. But mm. let us know what you think. Ooh. With so many sightings of Ooh. Bigfoot over the years, there is likely at least some truth to the creature's existence. But where is the line between myth and fact? Well, okay, yeah, that's a good point. There are so many... There are so many uh, stories of it there must be some sort of you know trueness behind it in a way right maybe it's something that used to be around right it used to be a big foot mountain lion stalking in british columbia a man without any weapons was enjoying a calm walk when he suddenly found himself being followed closely by a curious mountain lion at first he took out his camera to record the lion, which was sneaking up on him through the tall grass. I guess that's what you do when you don't have a gun. You pull out <laughs> your phone to capture your potential death. Anyhow. This is really yeah. freaky. <laughs> you pull out your phone to, to record your death. <laughs> that is a mountain lion. And he's stalking me. The two of them looked at each other for a long time. 
But then the lion decided he wanted a closer look, so he closed the distance between them. Oh, mate, that would be fucking sketchy as shit, man. I know this in paranormal or cryptid, but I'm interested in this, mate, because this is freaky deaky. Imagine if that thing wanted to slice you and dice you. It, I mean, not me. Just block it and counter attack. Don't ever turn your back! Hey, Mr. Mountain Lion. Oh, shit. How are you doing? Feeling pretty freaked out, <laughs> the man stood still as the lion walked around him, watching him, sizing him up. They had another long staring contest. Later, the video shows the man further up the path, but the lion is still there. I mean, to be, if, to be fair, though, if, if you ran up to it, I literally just did a the the biggest kick to the head as possible. Like, you know, a ball like, imagine the ball being on the floor and you wanted to just kick it as hard as you could. Imagine doing that to 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 one of those heads. Boom. Would it honey you could knock it out? She followed him the entire time. I don't know if the lion was tired or just decided it didn't want to risk injury trying to procure her lunch. But luckily, after some time, she decided to leave, and the man was able to breathe a massive sigh of relief. May. Stay back. Stay there. What do you do in those situations? Because I know that like some animals, you have to make like you know, make loads of noise and bang and make yourself appear to be bigger, right? Do you do that with them? Or would you just, do you sort of like bow slightly, you know, give them a bit of respect? Do you just keep your eyes on them until they get bored? I'm assuming you don't turn your back, right? Because that's when cats pounce, isn't it? When your back's turned. I'm not afraid of you. The man, as you can imagine, hightailed it to his vehicle and got the heck out of there. Quite the story he has. Mm. Creepy crawler. Here is a brief excerpt from a longer video that some daring explorers shot while looking into an abandoned building. This has actually become a fairly popular hobby over the past few years, believe it or not. Videos of people exploring old and abandoned structures have gained quite a bit of popularity on social media recently. In this clip, we either have a doctored fake or a disturbing encounter with a dangerous cryptid. You'll have to be the final judge of this clip's authenticity. What but is first, that? let's take a closer look and see if we can find anything telling what the in the clip. Hell? The footage takes us through what appears to be an abandoned shed filled with junk and what looks to be unused building materials. And then, amongst the debris, we find a creature. It looks almost human in some respects, but it is clearly anything but. What the Its legs hell is and that? arms are thin to the point of malnutrition. It does not appear to have oh. any hair on its head that we can see. The quality of the footage is extremely poor. Hang on, from so, right, so that's his leg, that's his arm, so it's crouched down. But what's this? This looks like a, like a beak of some sort. Maybe that's just a piece of paper or something, but this is the head, right? Shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. What we can see, I would guess this creature to be a crawler. A Crawlers crawler. often dwell in Nick caves hey, yeah. or very secluded forests. So it's not surprising that one would take up in an abandoned building such as this. If that is indeed... Oh, mate, I reckon these crawlers... Look at this. Look, 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 look. I reckon these crawlers... I reckon certain cryptids like this, they were like maybe human once upon a time. And they've just... They've just ate human flesh over years and years and years, right? And then they got rejected by society, rejected by the community, and they were told to leave. So they had to resort into living in caves, right? And then they've just become so malnutritious, and then they start interbreeding with each other. And that's all they do is they just go out and they just take people and eat them, and they get more weird and more weird as as years go on and they turn into cryptids like that that's what i think you are mate an inbreeding little bastard 
indeed the case. These videographers are lucky to have escaped with their lives. Crawlers have been blamed for many unexplained disappearances, and if we are to believe the stories, they are extremely dangerous creatures. But what do you think? Are these cryptids real? Or are they just a widespread myth? Let me know your ideas in the comments. Hold your mind, mate. Dragon carcass. Now, listen, you might think I'm stupid, mate, but I believe in dragons. And I, I can't remember if I told this, I said this on a video. Right, let's just watch it first. I'll tell you my Here's theory something on we dragons. can say we've never seen before on this channel. Take a look at this dragon skeleton laid out in an open field. It even has what appears to be fresh blood and skin fragments on it. What? Needless to say, we're a bit skeptical, yeah. all things considered. The dragon was found in a Chinese province, but not much is known about its origin. It is very likely we are looking at a hoax that someone went to great lengths to create. After all... Yeah, it's got no skin and uh, flesh because it's so old, but it's still got blood stains. Right, okay. If there were dragons living on this earth with us, we would know about them, right? A dragon isn't something that could easily disappear into the remote wilderness like many of the other cryptids we feature on this channel. Well, that's not quite the case. This particular specimen might very well be a fake, but there could be some truth hidden in the story somewhere. <coughs> it looks real. It bloody looks real, I tell you that. Let me take you across the ocean to the Yucatan Peninsula for a moment. There have been a few stories in that area of strange discoveries, possibly involving the remains of dragons. Eyewitness reports claim to have found skeletal remains of these mythical creatures preserved in cenotes, or underwater caves. Cenotes themselves are an interesting phenomenon and can be quite dangerous to explore. The cave systems are dark and easy to get lost in, so exploration of them isn't taken lightly. However, there have been some impressive finds deep in these underwater caves. Researchers have found bones of prehistoric Ice Age creatures, as wow. well as ancient humans. But there have been rumors of other finds as well. Wow. Discoveries that haven't been released to the public as of yet. The creatures they found check just about every box we have for a dragon. And here's the reason this whole dragon theory might not be as far-fetched as we previously thought. I, I don't think it's far-fetched at all, mate. I mean, look at look at lizards. Look at, you know, um, crocodiles. And then you look at birds. Look at the old school birds back at, like, you know, the dinosaurs. I, I, I don't see it. I mean, maybe the fire breathing. Hmm. I don't know. But you don't know, do you? Literally, you don't know. I mean, there's so many weird and wonderful creatures. There's creatures that can make light. There's a creature. I can't, what's it called? The... Um, what is it called now? The ankler, An ankler fish, or anchor fish? It's got a fucking light bulb at the front of it. Literally, it's just got a little piece of string with a light bulb in the front of it, mate. That attracts things. I mean, you've got you've got uh, snakes that can conduct electricity, eels that can uh, sorry eels that can conduct electricity. Why can't there be something that can just combust? flames out of it right and my other theory is that you know uh, i think i said this on a live stream once in um in japan they've got like the you know the year of the monkey and the year of like you know the the, the little the, like signs of what year you were born in like the i think is the rat the monkey and there's loads of others right there's chicken i think there's one and there's 11 of them right? All animals that we know of now, that we see, okay? But one, which is the dragon. Why would they go to all that length? Like, oh, I can't, I can't think of any other animals. Well, we, come on, we need 12. Well, we, we, um, uh, rat. No, no, we've got rat. Oh, oh, fuck it. Just to put dragon. But dragons aren't real. Just, just fucking put dragon. I can't think of another animal. They ain't gonna do that, are they? All right? So what do they know that we don't? That's what I'm saying, mate. Okay? That's what I'm saying. These dragons are actually gigantic sea serpents. Think about it for a moment. We've discovered more of outer space than we have of the Earth's deep sea. It's certainly not impossible for a creature to conceal itself in such a place. 
the reports of the Yucatan dragons are that they have snake-like bodies and lizard-like reptilian heads, often adorned with horns or antlers of some type. The interesting thing regarding the stories of these spectacular finds is that there seems to be some sort of cover-up going on. Twice, Cover eyewitnesses up. have claimed to have found skeletal remains, and both times the remains were taken away to be studied, and their existence has been denied by scientists ever since. What? If there was an easy explanation, they wouldn't be so secretive with their answers. Why? I wonder if dra are dragons in the Bible? Like, people who've read the Bible, can you tell me? <coughs> are dragons in the Bible? Um... Why would they cover it up, though? That's the question. Why? Why would they cover that up? Again, none of these eyewitness accounts can be verified, and the evidence of these creatures' existence seems to disappear just as quickly as it is found. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Do you think this Chinese dragon in the image could be real? And what about the stories of the dragon-like sea serpents? Might they actually exist somewhere deep in the ocean, or are they just another myth? I mean, that's a pretty damn, damn good-looking bloody carcass, that, isn't it? You know, it doesn't look fake. Sewer creature. Next, I like we have channel. two boys out at night exploring a creepy location around their hometown. If you've ever seen the movie It, you'll know to stay well enough away from sewers, but that's exactly... I like It. Was it it? Where yeah, it was it. I liked it, the original, until he got to a cave, and the spider, a huge spider, came out, and I was like, "What?" This whole film has been so good, and then right at the end, Stephen King just went, "I can't, I can't be fucking asked to finish this. Just whack a massive spider in there, mate." What? That's gonna be shit though. Just fucking put. A I want to move on to my next book. Just put a big spider in there. Exactly where these two boys end up. The footage isn't the clearest since it was taken in low-light conditions, but we can clearly see a large grate over a foreboding-looking sewer entrance. Look to the right side of the grate, and you will see a creature rising from a crouching position. But what the heck is it? It is difficult to make out any identifying features, oh. but it almost looks like a monkey. Oh, man, I ain't no monkey! We've all heard of the numerous reports of Bigfoot, but there have been sightings of other oh, primates shit. throughout North America as well. Oh, These shit, that thing just disappeared. Oh, no, it didn't. creatures right are much smaller and often described as a mix between a human and a monkey. Look at his cone head, mate. Look at you with your cone head. What? Human and a monkey. It is unknown what they actually are, but there have been enough reports of them to make me think they could be real. If I had to make a guess, this creature... That cat scene as well. ...appears to be one of those monkey people. The two boys filming didn't stick around to get any more footage of the beast, so we won't be able to make a positive oh identification. In hindsight, they were smart to get out of there when they did. While Bigfoot seems to be mostly harmless, reports of the monkey people have been a little more frightening. They don't seem to be quite as peaceful. Hmm... I'll identify flying objects. Let's go. In Colorado Springs, something really unusual happened in the sky, and it got a lot of attention on TikTok. In the video, you can spot two mysterious dark objects hovering in midair. That's what? in the sky right now, everybody. These are like centipedes. The person who uploaded the video said he was just hanging out in his car when these strange objects caught his eye. When he zoomed in for a closer look, the floating figures resembled dementors. Those eerie, soul-sucking creatures from the Harry Potter series. In the sky. Like, I'm in my... Maybe it's like a, a kite or something that people have, um, are setting off. But that... Mate, if it's not, well, I don't know what the hell that is. A car, just chilling. But here's where it gets interesting. Someone else commented on the video to share their own experience. According to this person, they live in the same area and have seen the exact same thing. However, they went on to explain that there's a man who lives nearby who is known for flying kites that look just like the mysterious object spotted. Well, clearly it's that then, isn't it? ...in the video. Perhaps that makes more sense. So, the big question is, what are we actually seeing here? A kite. 
Are these just creatively designed kites that someone is flying for fun? Yes. Or could they be something much more mysterious and otherworldly? No. The jury's still out, but it's definitely sparking a lot of conversation and leaving people wondering what's really going on in the skies over Colorado Springs. Yeah, that's good, but that's definitely kites. Weird sea creature. There's this TikToker who what found something really wild you? during their day at the beach. Oh my god! The video god. they posted shows what looks what like a mysterious fuck? creature that's washed up on the shore. That's from, like a mermaid. From or the a looks merman. of it, this thing has been dead for some time because its body is starting to break down. Oh mate, it's got like a face of an ape, the body of a mermaid, and then the legs, like the end of the legs, like a human. Like a yeah. And decompose. The first thing that jumps out at you is its mouth. No way. It's gaping wide open like it's in a state of permanent surprise. No way. Then you see its body, which is long and stretched out on the sand, as if it's been pulled like taffy. Oh and you my can't miss God. that head. It's huge. That's what she said. <laughs> People who've seen the video are just going nuts trying to figure out what this thing is. What the fuck? The theories are all over the place. Some people are guessing it's a weird doll or prop, while others swear it has to be some undiscovered sea creature. Now, if we're talking sea creatures, the big burning question is, what exactly could this be? I mean, we can pretty much say it's not a seal, right? Because this creature has these skinny legs, and we all know that seals are legless. They just have flippers. Oh, There's God. also another intriguing idea floating around the internet. Some people are suggesting that this could be the result of some sort of scientific experiment gone wrong. Oh, like some mate, imagine that. Imagine you are the experiment, right? They've been working on you for years. And then you, you're in this incubator. And they go, right, zap him. Make him come alive. And then, and then you just like... Dunk. And you're like, and they're looking, they're going, oh God, oh God, we've done it wrong. Oh God, just, just turn it off, turn it off. And you're like, and you're in so much pain, you're in pain. You look at your body, and you're going, what have you done to me? What have you done? Oh, turn it off. Turn it off and just th throw it in the sea. And then and they just throw you in the sea. Ah! Oh, God, mate. How, what a fucking nightmare that would be. Oh, God. Oh, 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 oh mate. Oh, shit. Oh, God. Something disposed of from a government lab. Whatever it is... It's got everyone super curious and buzzing with all kinds of wild guesses. So now I've got to hear from you. What's your take on this whole mystery? What do you think this creature might be? Oh, it's an experiment. It's Jeff. Jeff. UFO and lying. You know, we've <laughs> seen our fair share of UFOs pop up now and then. Most of the time, they show up when the night sky is as clear as glass or even in broad daylight with the sun shining down. But this recent sighting, man, it's a whole different ball game. Believe it or not, this UFO decided to make its grand entrance during a thunderstorm. So here's how it all went down. An Instagram user uploaded a video that's got people buzzing like crazy. What's even crazier is that it looks wow. like the person who oh! captured this incredible footage was actually cruising down the highway in a moving car when it happened. What? But hold on, because it gets even more intriguing. Just as a bolt of lightning illuminates the sky like some kind of what? cosmic flashlight, this UFO suddenly appears and starts hovering in midair. I mean, no. it's like it materialized out of thin air. Now... Some people are saying that the UFO might be tapping into the energy of the thunderstorm or the lightning bolt itself. Uh-huh. You know how we plug our phones into a wall outlet to juice them up? They're suggesting it might be something like that, but on a cosmic scale. It's like the UFO's own personal charging station or something. But of course, not everyone's buying it. There are skeptics in the mix, too. 
A couple of people in the comments have started raising eyebrows, claiming the lightning in the video looks a bit sketchy. They're saying it could be fake, possibly whipped up with some computer graphics. So there you have it. Mm. Whether it's a genuine sighting or just some well-done special effects, this UFO video is definitely stirring the pot and giving us all something to talk about. There you go, mate. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you liked it. It was nice and different, mate. Learned a little bit, okay? What do you reckon about my thoughts and opinions on these things? Anyway, I hope to see you on the next one. Take care. Bye-bye. Get the merch at kespersite.com. Just Rambo it.